what's happening, y'all? It's your guy Rashad back here with another day in the life of a food truck owner. Yay! Appreciate y'all stopping by, checking out another video. If you haven't already, please do uh, subscribe to the channel. Give us that like. It would very much be appreciated. Today, 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 today. Today's video was a corporate lunch. A corporate lunch. Um, one of our favorite spots to go. Nice, consistent, it's local. They run this particular service from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. So it's about a half hour earlier than most of our lunch uh, services start out here. But no huge adjustment just because this place is pretty close too so this particular location is uh, is another pay to park location for us uh, it's in Washington like it is I'm sure in most a lot of places you can't just pull off on the side of the road park wherever you want and start selling food uh, there are a bunch of rules and regulations and every city around here is pretty much different so one way to avoid that is by booking through uh, food truck pod sites, um, places that their whole business is that they organize these food truck locations. They talk to the locations and work out all the details. And then as a food truck operator, you basically, you just pay the site a percentage or uh, some money for the right to go in and vend at their site. So uh, this when we're in a pay to park location, um, because you know I'm putting money out to actually just even have the right to sell there, I have a much higher expectation of uh, what to make for minimum. I don't wanna do a pay to park location and make less than $1,000 in sales. Um, these locations can run anywhere from 10% of your sales to, you know, $35, depending on the popularity of the location. So uh, for me, it doesn't work to um, pay to park and then not have very strong sales. So in our state, at least, these sites are primarily um, handled by our state food truck association or our local food truck association. If your state doesn't have one, if your city doesn't have one, you might get together with a couple of other food truck owners and think about forming one. It's great to uh, make introductions to other operators. It's great to partner up for events. It's great to, to learn um, the ropes of uh, just operations of your food truck. Uh, it's, like I said, great for networking. And some things are exclusive only to your uh, food truck association some some locations they've worked out where they're the only people you can book from so uh, on this particular day at this particular location during the warmer months they can they can support two separate food trucks on one lunch service they have that many people 
uh, there. It's like a corporate office, corporate headquarters, and they have a great setup there. They have outdoor seating for folks. They have like a little cafeteria as well off to the side if weather's not great for their employees to eat inside. So this particular day, we were there with one of the older and more popular food trucks in our area the last uh, seven years or so. Boss Mama's Kitchen, they specialize in burgers. And so even though we were right next to another food truck, our, um, our food identities don't really conflict. Burgers and fries are always gonna be a hit. Um, but if there's chicken wings there, it's not gonna really you know, draw necessarily away from either or uh, our mac and cheese and, you know, a little bit of soul food. Luckily for us, that kind of plays good next to anybody. We've been next to barbecue trucks and still done well because uh, although we have barbecue type food, there's enough difference that uh, it makes it makes it unique in its own kind of way. So, um, yeah, we don't mind for us. We love being next to uh, <clears throat> seeing as BMK is one of the the nicest trucks around here as far as popularity and length of time they've been around. We love being partnered up next to the best trucks. For us, we find it's the good measuring stick where we're at to see how we perform against um, you know, or alongside established trucks who've been doing the thing for a while. So we've, at this location, we've been next to Papa Rapus and uh, Mexicuban and uh, some great taco trucks around here, uh, the People's Burger, a lot of well-known trucks in the area, established trucks, and we do just fine, you know, alongside all of them. We actually prefer it when it's another really, really popular truck because uh, it kind of brings more juice. I'm a big believer that, you know, two trucks are better than one in a lot of locations. It brings its own juice when people kind of already know of, oh man, we've had, you know, Mexican a hundred times before and I definitely still want my Mexican food, but you guys have mac and cheese, that would be bomb. So. Uh, for us, we we really relish the opportunity to be next to established trucks that are doing their thing. We think it, it's a win for us. So, here I'm gonna be right back. Y'all don't go nowhere. All right, <laughs> I had to go order my food before it gets too damn busy in there. I'll never be able to eat. All right, uh, where was I? Where was I? Boss Mama Kitchen. We love serving next to the best trucks. Uh, my pro tip then is the Food Truck Association. Make sure that you investigate that in the area that you're in because they can be a wealth of knowledge and resources for you. You shouldn't go into this thing alone. You shouldn't go into this thing being combative against every other food truck that's out there. You, you know, build bridges, not walls. I know it's kind of cliche and kind of corny, but it's real life. Uh, we have been invited to multiple events where they were so big that they asked us if there was another truck that we could recommend. And because I know it's happened to us on multiple occasions, I know it's happened for other trucks that are out there on multiple occasions as well. So be cool with who you're serving next to. Share food, you know? I love serving next to new trucks because it gives me an opportunity to try their food, see what they're doing for plating. Maybe there's an idea for uh, containers that we hadn't thought of. Not only is it, you know, opposition research and market research, but it's also just cool to eat some different food every freaking once in a while. And I know that the other trucks feel the same way. You know, they get tired of eating burgers every day or tired of eating, you know, Thai food every day. And if they can have a little something different because they're next to a different type of truck, it's a win. And I know we feel that exact same way. So, uh, yeah, those events where people are like, hey, you know, another truck. And then we invite, we tell them about another truck and then we show up to the event and the other truck is there making 
two and three thousand dollars too so um i would say be open join the food truck association make some friends you know talk to other truck owners try not to be so competitive about it because if another truck is killing it at a per a particular location that might not be a bad thing for you because you might be in that location one day and the fact that they have constant volume coming through there it's a win for you or you might be par paired up next to them one event and they could go viral you know what i mean so just be open and and try to fight the the you know if you're like me i grew up very competitive in sports and um, I have two older brothers, and so I'm just a very competitive person in general, and I have to sometimes tamp that down when it comes to working along other owners and other vendors and, and watching other vendors and what they're doing to not internalize it as, all right, well, you know, let's compete. And, you know, if they're making the money, then that means we're not making the money. It doesn't really work like that, you know. Uh, get along. I think you go a lot further. So... Uh, that's my pro tip. Join the, the food truck association in your area or the group or the community in your area and be cool, you know. Catch more flies with honey, for sure. So, anyways, another video, corporate lunch. Hope y'all enjoyed. It's a short one. It's a short one, so enjoy it.